Well, we found an amazing tool from the University of Georgia Extension Office, and this tool lets us calculate the amount of fertilizer that we need. This year, we're getting a much earlier start out here in our community garden. Now, last season, we got a really late start, and this is actually our old plot here. It was a half of a plot, and this season, because we are in here the second year, we got signed up right away. This area right here, and into the next area so you can see we're the whole way back up to here that's our new plot so we've got two plots instead of a quarter plot i've got to set up a fence around the exterior here and we're going to go see what supplies are available to everybody they have some free supplies for fencing so we don't have to buy anything and then secondly we've got to go ahead and get fertilizer into this soil some organic fertilizer and i'm going to talk about that as we go forward here now one of the things about using the free fences here is that we have two different varieties but that doesn't matter our whole purpose keep the critters out and this will do just fine I got my fencing set up about two-thirds of the way around here and I'm out of the free fencing so we're gonna have to figure that piece out because I got to close off the other end of this but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get this fertilizer spread now I'm gonna interrupt what I'm doing out there to explain something that's a benefit of working in a community garden especially this one and that's that they do a professional soil test every year so we're not just talking about a, a backyard test where you kind of hope to figure out if we're talking deficient or what that really means for each of the N, P, and K. In this case, we see exactly what is recommended for our area. Now, these recommendations are based on some of the most common crops, which you can see are tomatoes, squash, beans, and pumpkins. Um, but we can use this as a really good judge for what we want to add to our garden. So you can see here for nitrogen, we need about 75 pounds per acre. And we're looking at an 18 by 24 square foot plot. And we have two of those. So whatever we're looking at here, that is what we have to keep in mind in terms of square footage. We need 18 times 24 times two. But that's 75 pounds per acre for nitrogen. We don't need any additional phosphorus and the potassium recommends about 115 pounds per acre over a two to three year period so how do we calculate the amount of fertilizer that we need well we found an amazing tool from the university of georgia extension office and this tool lets us calculate the fertilizer the amount of fertilizer that we need per acre depending on how much our soil test recommends and then depending on the NPK of the various fertilizers that we might be using. Now I'm going to put a link in the description so that you know exactly where we found this tool because it is truly a valuable tool. But the first thing we need to know are the results from our test for nitrogen, our phosphorus, and our potassium. And so we already know based on our soil test that we need 75 pounds of nitrogen per acre. We don't need any additional phosphorus and we need 115 pounds of potassium potassium now we need to know how big our area is and if you don't know how to calculate the area they actually give you the option here to calculate the area I already said that we have an 18 by 24 square foot area so that's 432 square feet and then multiply that by two because we have two of those lots so that's 864 square feet so I'm gonna fill that back in right here so we have 864 square feet that we're trying to get our measurements for. Now there were three different types of organic fertilizer that we were considering. One of them is pretty easily accessible around here and that's Hollytone. That's a 434 fertilizer. It's a little bit pricey at 90 cents per pound. The second one is chicken poo. That's actually the name of the type of fertilizer and that's exactly what it is. Now that's a 243 fertilizer and it's the least expensive, but again, it's just a two for the nitrogen, a 243. So that's 44 cents a pound. And then there is the garden tone and that is the type of fertilizer that you'll see that we ended up going with. And I'll explain that, but that's a 344 fertilizer and it's about 85 cents a pound. 
Now, what's really awesome is if you don't see the formula up here, if you don't see the MPK up here that you want, you can also add your own down here so that you get the one that you're looking for. And here are our results. Now this is ranked, first of all, based on cost. So the least expensive is the 243, that's the chicken poo. But what we can see, in addition to seeing which nutrients are supplied, we can also see what we're left with in terms of a surplus, a deficit, or that zero, 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 which means basically just the right amount for our needs based on the soil test results per our area. And so what do we see? With the chicken poo, we don't have any excess nitrogen. We have a lot more excess phosphorus than we need, and we have a deficit still with our potassium. So even though it's less expensive, it's not exactly a great fit just for a single fertilization. For the 344, and the 344 is the garden tone, we have plenty of nitrogen, plenty of phosphorus, and actually less phosphorus, less excess phosphorus than we would have from our chicken poo, and we don't have any problem with our potassium, and the cost is about $48 for that entire area. And then for our 434, which is the holly tone, we have a little bit more excess nitrogen, we have less phosphorus, and basically, we have the same amount of potassium being added, so we don't have any problem with that. And the cost is about $3 extra. So really, it's kind of up in the air as to which one of these is better. And it just so happens that this time, we went with the Garden Tone, and the Garden Tone's a couple of dollars less expensive, but it provides us with all the nutrients that we need. Now again, I'm gonna say that this is one of the benefits of having that professional test done because now you can come in here and use a tool just like this to really calculate the amount of pounds per square foot that you need when it comes to whatever fertilizer you're trying to add. Now what you're gonna see that I actually ended up doing in here is I came in and put about 58 pounds total, so 29 pounds in each plot, but this shows the recommendation that you need for your overall area and so I don't have to put in that 75 pounds of the chicken poo. I'm right there at 57 pounds. That's my cost and these are the end results. An incredibly valuable tool. Well, the way I'm going to spread this is really simple. I've got this one area that's basically half of what we're looking at and I'm just going to spread this with an even distribution and I'm going to keep it low to the ground because it is a little windy out here and I don't want to dust flying everywhere. All right, with that one bag of 27 pounds, I covered all but this last little corner here, which is perfect because I need to get about two more pounds on here and that should take care of that last bit. And I'm gonna do the same in our other plot. All right, folks, in total, I have about 58 pounds of fertilizer applied to our two beds here. You can see really nicely now just how much space we have. I mean, this is massive for us. If we talk about the amount of space that we garden in typically, and then we add this to that space, we're gonna be able to grow a ton of food here in addition to what we're growing at home. And when it comes to being self-sufficient, if you can find a place for $75 to get in here and start growing even more food, that's gonna be fantastic. Now, well, we got a lot accomplished today, but we still have a ton more to do. And we're gonna show you what we're planting out here in a different video, so get excited for that. Well, we hope you're excited to see what we're gonna be doing out here in all of this space. Again, when you have as small a garden as we do, you can find a space like this for 75 bucks to basically, I would argue, double what our main garden is. And I think you found a good place to grow to be more self-sufficient. Well, we're expecting a pretty big rainstorm tonight, so I'm gonna rake under some of this fertilizer so we don't have any runoff. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe, and most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.